like many other developing countries, in Myanmar there's a huge rural population and many of them do not have access to electricity. So one way to offer this access to electricity is through renewable energy and off-grid solar technologies. The project was named the Incubation of Bottom of the Pyramid Technologies and it was funded by a Japanese foundation called Sasakawa Peace Foundation. The aim of the project was to, to, to find and select and evaluate certain technologies that could have uh, benefit for low-income communities, rural communities, and bring those technologies into the field and try to develop uh, in a way that they are really showing their impact. My main research has been on this uh, proper innovation so for the last couple of years. So I try to uh, link theory into practice in, in, in that field, field work. So we, we conducted several uh, focus groups. Uh, we were going to rural communities uh, together with the local NGOs who were the partners, trying to uh, ask the people and the, those actual users who were using that, that solar energy for for longer time about their opinions, the problems, and also about uh, the challenges that the companies who were trying to introduce those technologies were facing, and finding out together with the whole community what could be the solutions to overcome to such problems. So now that the, the first pilot projects have been done, the next step would be to get some feedback based on those the field work that we did and to improve upon those feedbacks and try to scale up the initiatives. The typical problem in bottom of the pyramid project is, is that uh, they remain very small and they seldom go beyond the pilot project. And this is mainly because there is not a big diffusion or adaptation of the technology among the target beneficiaries. Uh, so there is m more need to be done uh, in order to really make sure that the community has an active demand for such solutions. And then uh, it is possible to scale up the projects and go to a larger scale. That makes it a real win-win both for the companies who introduce it and for the communities.